Hey guys, it's Corey from Trains in the Valley. Today we're back with some MTH. But before we get started, I just want to go through some things. So, if you weren't following along, our website is now up and running. So, we're a model train shop located in Pennsylvania. We sold online before, but we had some issues, so we started from scratch with a new website. So that's up and running. So all the products that you guys see today, they'll be available on the website by the time this video is public. I know there's been some questions about uh, this collection. If you guys go back, this is actually coming from a private collector, so you will see sometimes tags on the boxes and things like that. That's not from our train shop, so those prices are pretty much invalid. They might be 20 years old or, you know, some prices go up, some go down, and we try to give the best deal possible. All right, so with that said, um, it's early in the week. We're going to dig into these things throughout the week. We're going to work on listing the items and also testing the items, so we'll get to see them up and close. All right, so we're getting into boxcars and locomotives today. So right off the bat, we have a couple different numbers of 40-foot Western Maryland sheath boxcars. We have a Reading Reefer, New York Central double door boxcar, more Western Maryland's. We have a Pennsylvania 50-foot single door boxcar. And there's regular 40-foot one southern o scale box car and moving into the locomotives that's where you guys get excited norfolk and western 2664 class a steam engine this one has proto sound 2 that's going to be awesome and we have a 4464 q2 steam engine pennsylvania railroad and this is with proto sound 2.0 we have a Chessie non-powered F3A diesel. And this guy here, well, yeah, non-powered, so of course no proto sound on that. But we have the matching one. Here's the powered one, and this one has QSI on it. Um, I'm excited to see that. So this says it's optionally equipped with proto sound, so we'll, we'll have to check it out, see what it has. But that would be cool. We have a doodle bug. That's Pennsylvania Railroad. And that has, looks like Protosound 1 on it. Another SD70 ACE. Last week we had one as well. I should say last time. It has been a moment. But this one has Protosound 3.0. I'm excited about that. The Norfolk Southern one was so loud. It was just awesome. Yeah, it was really cool. All right, we have a Norfolk and Western two rail auxiliary water tender. All right, interesting. So two rail, that's the first two rail item I saw. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. We have a GP9. This is a Redding Protosound 2.0. That's pretty cool. Redding stuff goes great. All right, and we have a GE Evolution ES44AC Protosound 3.0. I have a feeling that's going to be awesome as well we have an SD70 MAC Kansas City Southern that, that'll be pretty awesome to see we got some nice stuff here today and that's protosound 3.0 and finally we have another steam engine this is a 280 H9 consolidation and this is a Western Maryland and it has protosound 2.0 we'll be inspecting each product and getting pictures and getting them listed on the website we'll take you guys along for some of the ride it does get time consuming you know taking these things out of the boxes and putting them back in and all that stuff so we do want to be mindful of how long our videos get uh, last time we did a really brief video and then there's times where we did 30 minute overview videos and they get pretty intense. So I feel like we're going to try to meet somewhere in the middle, find that nice happy medium. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, we're excited to dig into this stuff and see what we got.
This is a nice looking locomotive. I just hope it runs good. Well, I was not disappointed. This thing is loud and just is awesome. Yeah, it looks great, sounds great, runs great. Alright, so this doodle bug is nice and loud and sounds crazy. So, um, yeah, so we have another battery situation on our hands, I think. I couldn't get this one to move. Hopefully by the end of the making of this video, we'll have it charged up with some good results. So today I'm at the last Rail King box. This one looks a little wavy. Now normally that would get me concerned like it went through a flood or something like that. But from what I understand, these boxes were stored in the attic while the trains were safe in the basement. Nonetheless, I can't wait to dig into this one. Now that's what I like to see. So this is a SD70 ACE. We get to see this scheme every now and then in Harrisburg and it's definitely cool.
Victoria. I want to go upscale. No, this is really nice. Yeah, genuine reaction there. All right guys, so this one has some issues with the sound. Um, I'm not getting any bell or, or any horn on it. Um, it does change direction. It seems like the locomotive works good um, as far as running, but I don't know if there's something wrong with the decoder or it simply just doesn't have um, the speaker. Not sure what's going on with this one. Nonetheless, it's a beautiful GP9. I like these older Redding schemes. So definitely cool. So if anyone's um, up for a little bit of a project to get the sound going and everything, this could be a loco for you. Whew, this thing is a beast. All right, let's see what it does. Nothing. All right, I think the trail bar was loose. Yeah, there it is. That is great news. You know, we always have problems with steam engines, so it's kind of nice to kind of have one that works. <laughs> and this one works really good. Okay, it looks like we have another battery we need to charge. Unfortunately, that's the problem with electronics. It takes a little more time than just getting a freight car rolling on the tracks, but this is definitely a really sweet locomotive, so it's gonna be worth our time.
All right, and here is the last item. This was a three day process and now it's just to get the items listed on the website and edit the video that you're watching now. So this one came in a two rail box and I'm not honestly sure if that's correct or not because the two rail items I've seen already from Atlas almost look like a smaller Katie coupler on them, but you guys can be the judge of it. Did they have it in the right box or do I need to learn more about O-Scale? I think probably I gotta learn more anyways. <laughs> so anyways guys, thanks for watching. These items are up for sale on our website. And if you guys wanna see videos like this early, sign up for our newsletter on our website. Thanks so much and see you guys next time.